the America's Richest Families list looks at the wealthiest families uh, in the United States. So it doesn't include uh, just individual fortunes, somebody like Warren Buffett or Elon Musk. This looks more at multi-generation families, um, you know, people who it may be, they may be two generations in, they may be five generations in. When you think of the richest families in America, oftentimes, you know, you would think of somebody like the Vanderbilts uh, or the Astors or something like that. Interestingly, neither of those two families are among the wealthiest families in America today. You know, over time, fortunes tend to dissipate. This year, the Walton family tops the list and they are worth a whopping $247 billion. The Waltons are the shareholders of Walmart. It was founded by Sam Walton and his brother Bud. And um, the company pays the family, which owns about half of Walmart, about $700 million a year in dividends. Um, it's quite, quite a fortune that they have. Uh, after that, it's the Koch family, uh, which is you know Charles Koch and Julia Koch. Uh, who is the widow of David Koch, and then uh, there, there are two other Koch brothers um, who had inherited a estate from their father. Uh, that family was worth about $100 billion, and Koch Industries is the largest private company in America, and they do everything from you know, they do oil, they, they own uh, brawny paper towels, um, just a huge conglomerate. And then number three on the list is the Mars family behind uh, the candy company, M&M &M Mars. Um, about half of, rev of Mars's revenue though is actually from pet food. Um, the family members don't run the company, but they sit on, some of them sit on the board. It's a fairly secretive, also privately held company. I think one of the things that's interesting is the families might not be household names, but products that they produce certainly are. You know, people may not have heard of the show and family, but they've certainly heard of U-Haul. Uh, you might not have heard of the Fisher family, but you definitely under you know you definitely know Gap. You probably never heard of the Gore family, but you may have heard of Gore-Tex. You might not know the Taylor family, uh, but you know Enterprise Rent a Car. It's kind of a crazy time um, in the stock markets, right? So we're in this pandemic. We've got food lines across the country. You know, people are worried about getting evicted if evictions aren't banned going forward. Um, and then you have new billionaires apparently coming out, you know, seemingly coming out of the woodwork with you know, initial public offerings happen, the stock market's going crazy. And so this is kind of on that other, you know, this a reminder of this incredible wealth inequality in our country where we have these families that hold so much wealth.